is up people and we are back in the workshop i thought as you've seen i've got that up i think i found a better way of lifting it putting a bar through and strapping it instead of hooking on there because in the, the day this is a test piece and i don't want to damage it so i thought that was a better way of doing it but i thought i'd stop and show you the comparison between my the two chassis that we are building at the moment because you've only ever really seen one or the other so this is a comparison of the two they are two very different designs but the basis the core of the chassis is the same yes these things are over engineered that's just the way I am. Safety is a priority. That's why you always have to read your blue book. You have to know what is allowable and what can just scrape in. And then, well, that's not quite safe enough. I'd rather do it this way. So I'm going to show you the two chassis because we have them both beep, beep, side by side. So what we're going to do, this isn't a video of actually doing nothing, cause, well, actually doing anything, because you've just seen me do that. This is more just a quick talk through on just these two different designs. This one is new to me. Well, it's not, it's it's very Maguire style with the door bars, but it's not going to run Maguire style front end. Uh, the back was a little bit different on the Maguire. The back of the Maguire had an X, so there's subtle differences and I'm going to work my way through them and show you. Right, we'll start with the basics. If you look at the main hoop in both, they are identical. The main hoops are the same height, and width, and angles. The front legs, so these here, they are the same on all, all of them. They're all the same. They all run at the same angles. They've got the same toe in. They are the same. Screen bars are the same. Just that one is slightly lowered down. I mean, you are talking not a lot of difference, but there is a little bit of difference there. Dash bars, the same. Uh, even these bars now, I like the way that's been done. So that's the same on both of them. That is about all of the similarities in these two chassis yes the dimensions are the same so they're the same length same width the rear end is nearly the same apart from the center spine this is only one where this one there's two so there's two verticals so on this one you can see that we've got still got those well, actually, before we even get to that point, I will show you another difference around the back. Can you see what it is? That is lower than this. That is 50 millimetres lower than this one. And you can sort of make it out. This section here is smaller than this section here. This is more wide open. So this is actually lower than that. That's probably a better way of showing it you there. So that is because of the door bars. I've got two different heights for these. So with the single door bar, like the Maguire had, that comes up and then this follows the angle of it. Now if that was 50 mil higher, this bar would be at quite a severe angle. Don't get me wrong, it would probably still be fine. But I would like it more flowing. But this one, you see the height difference in the door bars? Because it runs this style door bar, not that style. So it comes up higher. So I have to hire this up to accommodate for it. That's why this is higher. So this is slightly smaller area. Yeah. So... That's just what I've thought I'd quick show you that. This one's running an X and an X, where that one's running a single and a single. That single seater is all about weight. 
it's as little of weight as possible but still being as strong as possible this is the best steel that you can get for roll cages apart from t45 which i think is too thin i would not build one of these out of t45 tube and i'll tell you why because i've got some yeah this is t45 tube yeah and there is there is nothing to it yeah it's so light because most t45 tube is wafer thin wafer thin we've got some more of it down here this is what was left over from uh, that m3 cage i did this i mean look there is nothing to it so i wouldn't build one of these out of t45 sorry because i don't think it would be strong enough or you would have to put that many bars in it would become a nightmare to get in and out of because t45 is like that m3 cage that whole cage that's a full fia multi-point welding weighed 45 kilograms but there was bars everywhere yeah but it still wasn't strong enough to be chassis to be a chassis if you know what i mean so to build one of these out of t45 i very i mean i don't know don't hold me to it this is my opinion it would not be strong enough because this stuff in the bender bends so easy i mean you watched me bend that one inch earlier that's harder to bend than this stuff this stuff bends so easy so i couldn't say whether it would be good enough but in my opinion it wouldn't be this stuff i use is proper ropt which is rollover protection tubing and i'm using the proper wall thickness for the job i'm not skimping on it it's proper proper stuff yes we're suffering a little bit on weight but it's gonna last do you know what i mean if you roll this thing down the straight you're gonna get out of it you know i am over engineering these but you can cut corners well you're not really cutting a corner because t45 is freaking expensive but would it be strong enough i don't know so anyway that's that little bit going over with. So, as you can see on this, these are longer than on that one. So this comes down to this and this to this, where on this one, they go down to the center because there's only one center spine. So what we're trying to do is disperse the load, yeah? Uh, so we've got a single rear diagonal, uh, twin diagonal, twin roof bar, single roof bar which you've seen is basically the same design it's just that's got a couple more extra degrees because it's a little bit longer and going to that corner sides we've got single door bar i'm oh, sorry with an upstay and this because that's maguire style that's what the maguires did but that was all box this is cds tube and where these ones run the later spec this is what a lot of people are running now where it's two continuous bars Blue Book says you need one continuous bar. Well, I've got two continuous bars. That one is running one continuous bar, one cut bar, if you get my drift. But you only need one continuous bar. It's like Blue Book states. You see a lot of cars out there now where the X's are inside the main hoop and they don't have anything in the back leg, like in the back stage. So this would be like this, but without that bar. That's not a blue book regs. That's not MSA regs. The MSA regs say you have to be from your main hoop, no more than 100 millimetres from the corner, down to the bottom of your rear stay. These are your rear stays. So putting an X in the main hoop, you also need to have an X in here, from the top of the corner to the bottom of your main stay. Also, your main stay may not exceed past 
your top suspension point. So that there, I couldn't have that longer. <clears throat> it's daft stuff. <clears throat> it's like ideally if that was longer, going all the way down to your fuel tank support or something, it would be stronger. But you'd have to put that in, cut like this, and then put a second bar. You can't be continuous. The blue block is just, honestly, such a fucking minefield. So, yeah. And as you can see, the floors are different. This is my two-seater. So, these are thick wall for the extra load. We've got the hoops to put in that I've just bent, which are there. They are thick wall, one inch, 265 mil. It's quite strong stuff. That is just... To help brace the two together. I mean you can jump up and down on that. Any day moving. And by the time they've finished the floor. It ain't going to move. Now this is Les's design. This is what he actually designed and wanted. So this is his. And this is very strong. Very strong. I was surprised how strong it is. So this is his design. And I am tempted to use it in mine. But. I don't know, we'll see. I might use mine, I might use this one. They're all as good as each other. They're all strong and, you know, thick wall is well made. The floor really has got to be substantial. So, yeah, it's a baddie. This one's got the diagonals there. This one I'm still questioning the diagonals on how to do them. But, yeah, I thought I'd just give you a quick run through on the two chassis, the, the difference in them. Two-seater, one-seater, Maguire-style door bars, X-style door bars, and why they are the way they are, the little differences. Right, there we go. Bit of an insight for you. We haven't got any work done on this now, but I thought I'd just walk through where we are so you can see. Right, I hope you enjoyed this little explanation. Expl explanation. Ex explanation. I think it sounds right. Explanation. I think it's right. Anyway, catch you in the next one, people. See you later.